morning. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Markey. Um, and we're gonna be starting our short week off focusing around an important historical event that is the American Revolution. We are so very lucky to live where we live that there is so, so much rich historical value um, that Mr. Anderson was able to take us on a trek through some important locations. And so I thought it would be really fun to make some connections to those places through STEM. And so I've selected three locations that my son and I um, have decided to recreate. And those, um, those were because they were really important historically, but they're also really interesting buildings. So I'm gonna suggest a couple materials that you can use to make your important historical monument. Um, but you can always use whatever you have at home. So the first place that I selected was the old state house in Boston, Massachusetts. It is still there to this very day. It's very cool to go see because it's kind of um, nestled in between some very tall skyscrapers. Um, but it is a very um, meaningful and reflective place. Um, and it's also where the Boston Massacre occurred, which is um, the first bloodshed really in the years um, before the revolution. Um, and it was really a dramatic um, escalation in the dispute between the Redcoats and the colonists. Um, in 1768, armed troops were brought to Boston to help control the colonial resistance. Nearly 2,000 regulars, they would be called, regulars were the Redcoats, the, um, those that were loyal to um, the King of England arrived in the town of 15,000 people. Um, the soldiers and the colonists had an uneasy relationship from the beginning, and this event really lit the fire of um, revolution, especially in um, those that were already teetering. So it was a really important um, time. It was also really tragic. There were five people who did die in the massacre, um, and one of those was Crispus Attucks, who to this day is an important um, symbol and also person um, that was killed during the Boston Massacre. Um, after the Boston Massacre, there was a real um, need for change, and so it kind of began that, um, that evolution and that road to the revolution. So we're going to focus on the old state house, um, and I was thinking I'm going to show you what my son and I did. Um, my son actually used Minecraft to craft his old state house, and you can do the same. What's really neat about this building is it's made of brick. It also has some white um, components that we were using quartz. Um, and it also has a gilded dome top. Gilded means that it's actually plated with gold. Um, so for those of you, again, who like to use Minecraft materials, you can kind of use a gold. Um, and there's also copper as well. Um, there's also some pretty ornate windows, as well as a balcony that you can incorporate in your, um, in your prototype as well. So have fun with it. If you decide to use um, Minecraft, you may, you can. If you would like to use Legos, I feel like that would also be a really great material to use because you can build it to size um, and you can have fun with it that way. And I was also thinking Play-Doh would be really fun to, to make this um, building as well. So that's our first historical stop that we're going to focus on and that's the old state house in Boston, Mass. And hopefully you'll have fun doing it. Hi friends, we're on to our second historical stop um, in the American Revolution, another place that Mr. Anderson focused on as well, and that is the Old North Church. It was actually built in 1723, and it's located in the North End in Boston. Um, you can even see it today. What's really cool about this building is it really um, was an important National Historic Landmark because um, it's commonly referred to as the first stop of Paul Revere's Midnight Ride, where he instructed three Boston Patriots to hang two lanterns in the church's steeple, representing that the British, they would have been called the regulars, were approaching by sea and not by land. Um, so it's a very cool building. It also just represents a lot of important um, of an important time period for us, where we were making a transition from um, following England and um, also paving a way to starting our own democracy. So uh, this was also an important um, landmark um, place 
along the way. What's really neat about the building is it's a very large but narrow structure and it has um, really steep um, steeple um, that you can also create using lots of materials. You could use paper, you could use, um, you could use Legos, you could use wooden blocks, you could use Minecraft again. Uh, my son actually made the church in Minecraft so I'm going to show you that as well. Um, but what's really neat is you can also recreate the lanterns um, because the lanterns were an important part of the, the story and also an important part um, to let everybody know. And there's also lanterns, of course, in Minecraft, so you can incorporate that um, into your design. Um, and that is our second historical stop. Good job. Hey, everyone. Back again for our third important historical stop. And again, it was featured in Mr. Anderson's um, message for you all this week. So I definitely would love for you to check it out so you can learn a little bit more about the backdrop of the important places that we're talking about. And um, I'm challenging you to recreate some of these locations using different materials in a STEM challenge. So um, you can use Minecraft, you can use um, blocks, you can use paper, you can use really anything that you can find around your house that you have permission to use, you can try. Um, our third location was important for a number of reasons. It's the Old North Bridge, and it's actually located in Concord, Mass. And it's actually a replica bridge if you go to visit it today. Um, it was built in 1956 and restored in 2005. So it's not the exact bridge that was used in the 1700s, but it was um, recreated using um, pictures and firsthand resources um, so that it's as close to what was there um, that long ago. So the North Bridge, it's a wooden bridge, which is kind of neat. So you're going to want to be thinking about materials that can, you can use that look like wood, maybe cardboard. Um, and it was a pedestrian bridge, which is interesting because usually we think about bridges as um, being heavy enough and, you know, built for cars and trucks and those sorts of things. But this is built for soldiers to cross. Um, and so it wasn't a really wide bridge, it wasn't a super strong bridge, but it was strong enough for, um, for people to cross over um, when necessary. Um, it was here that the British and American forces gathered on either side of the river for the Battle of Concord in April of 1775. And it's considered the first true battle of the American Revolution. Um, and you may have heard this saying before, but it was coined by Ralph Waldo Emerson um, is he refers to this moment as the shot heard round the world. So it was really the beginning of the revolution. It was the beginning of change um, that would last. It took quite a while, um, but it was the beginning of something different. So it was a pretty exciting time. So if you want to try to recreate the old North Bridge, um, you can definitely try your best using many different um, materials and I will let you know what we come up with. All right, have fun with it.